So what you're going to need to do is find a screen that's probably partially used and ready to be reclaimed. And notice there's a number. And Mr. Rogers and I have a book, and we want you to sign, like, screen number three out. Or screen number, I don't even know, number 24. Okay? And those will both be available to you here in just a minute. So you might want to take advantage of that. All right, so... Reclaiming a screen has probably got the most harsh chemistries in the room. And so we want to prepare for that. Um, and preparing for that, one of the things that some people might want to do is wear a little face mask. It can be rubber ducky. I haven't done this in a while, so now I'm going to do it for the whole world. I think you got some ink in your hair. Oh, nice. Probably. Sorry, it'll come out. So if you want to wear this, you can. I tend not to. It's not a requirement. It's just an available option. I would suggest wearing gloves. And Charles noticed that I still have ink on these gloves, so I probably should get a new pair. But I'll skip that for now since we're on a time budget. You will want to wear these gloves. Whose hands were in these last? I do not know. Oh, it wasn't that bad. But if I have the rubber gloves on, I don't care, right? So if you have two sets of gloves on, that's okay. All right. So now we're going to put the screen up in the spray out booth. And notice there's two types of chemistries. One screen stripper, and it's clear. One uh, dehazer, and I'll show you what that's for later. It's like the second chemistry you use if you need it. And that's that more golden brownish color. So we're going to take this stuff. And we're going to put about nine sprays on the screen. It's kind of expensive, so we don't want to use too much. So we're just going to take that, and we're going to get it going. And we want to get it all over our screen. And then there's a brush in here. And the brush is more to spread the uh, screen stripper around the screen than it is to take the emulsion off. So it's really not, I'm not going to see anything happening here. I'm just going to make sure I'm spreading that stuff around. The screen's coated with emulsion on both sides, so you have to do that twice. And to be honest with you, the screen stripper will work best if it's allowed to sit on the screen and kind of do its thing. But since we're going with live video for the whole world to see, I'm not going to wait. We'll see what happens. So the next thing we need to do is turn on the pressure washer. A couple things you may want to check. We don't usually turn this off, but if it's not working right, that might be off. This is also a water shutoff valve. If it's, if it's perpendicular to the pipe, that means it's off. We usually don't turn that off either, so it's parallel. And then with a the pressure washer, there's a power switch down here, and you know when it comes to life. Now personally, that's very loud and irritating to me. So we have earplugs available to you if you'd like to wear them. They're optional, not required. All right, so we'll see what happens. I always like to spray the um, pressure washer into the corner to see what setting it's on. Because the tip is adjustable. If you have to spray all over. And then... Charles, I'd move just this way a little bit. I don't like to stand right here because the water sprays back, so I stand to the side. using it or it'll blow seals, meaning it'll start leaking and we'll have to fix it or get a new one. 
Jeff. I Hardy. am really methodical and meticulous about my screens. I love to screen print, but I hate stripping them, I hate coating them, I hate the whole dirty part of it. So I only want to do it once. So I take my time and I do it really well. Okay? So now, sometimes with a screen, if you hold it up to the light, see how you can see this said linkage to leadership? That image is not going to hurt me. That means that the ink we used uh, stained the screen material. My screen printing product still isn't going to have those words in it. But if that bothers you or you're concerned, that's when you can use the dehazer. And so that's the same process. You spray about nine squirts on it, you scrub it. And this is the stuff that has a stronger odor, but it's not chemically as challenging as the... Um, Green stripper, but I gotta tell you, we purchased a green friendly screen stripper as much as it can be. And Steve, we're still taking emulsion off the screen and putting it down a drain, but it's ecologically friendly. So then you just repeat that process. Whoop. Got that power. <laughs> screen's got to dry. So we have some fans right here. Power switch right by where the uh, power cord comes in. Turn that on. And you'll notice there's two settings. There's a little bit slower setting. And there's a faster setting that makes more noise and drives me nuts. I just use the slower setting and in about five minutes that screen will be ready to be coated. Okay. Um, one last thought. Just like there's optional uh, air breather things, Earplugs, there's also safety glasses. For those of you that don't wear glasses, you really wouldn't want to get that stuff in your eye. Because that'd be a bummer. Because it's not good. So it probably should wear the safety glasses when you're spraying on the screen. Alright, that's good. <laughs>